hot. I'm having all kind of technical difficulties today. Please remain in the The destination is on your left. Wolf Creek off. Park. Arrived. I need to get my wallet out. How do you? It say remain in your vehicle. I'm not sure. Y'all, I need to get my wallet. Okay, you guys, I just paid, paid for my day pass and very interesting, there is, they don't take cash. So if you come here, just know that they don't take cash. Use of skateboards prohibited in the park. So she gave me a park map, but I'm just pretty much gonna do a drive around. So they have a dumping station, campground stations. You could stay overnight. If you want to stay overnight, it's $20 a night, I believe. Um, at another campground I went to, they had cheaper night stays for So this is a boat ramp to the water. This is just a rough drive through. So there is canoes, canoes over there. And they said I had to be out by dark. She say it's really no set time. But I guess be out by dark. And it looks like that is a store. And that's where he was headed to, was to the store. And over here, some people camping. Let's go right here. This is a picnic area. So they have a picnic area, a little playground for kids. The water is right here, y'all. Feels good in the neighborhood. Feels good. So this looks like you can swim. Locked off, they don't want you to go no farther than that. Swimming permitted only in the enclosed designated area. No lifeguard on duty swimming. Swimmers are responsible for their own safety while swimming. Anyway, there's a list of rules. 
and here is a ramp to get in the water. Wow. So, you want to go swimming? And there you have it. I don't know how deep that water is. But if you want to go swimming, you can. Here are the rules. Tree trunk, tree limbs may exist in a swimming area. So that's the list of rules. Nice piece of property. When you're traveling, y'all, it's good to find places to go. Parks in the area, day parks, get your day pass, do everything you need to do. Empty your trash, fill up your water, take a shower, relax, uh, get some scenery. Get some scenery. And and it was only five dollars here. The other place I went was eight dollars. And I think this place might be a little bigger than the other place I went. So I wanted to do a drive through with y'all, but the internet reception, a drive through like live but the internet reception was so bad, you guys. It was so bad. So. Volleyball. Uh, so I think this is going to be a bathroom. I don't know if it is going to have a shower in this one, but if it do, your girl about to stop the tour right now and go take a shower because I need to brush my teeth, wash my face. So that is a reserved, what do they call those things? Like a pergola, I don't know, I forgot. You got the reserves there, but I guess if ain't nobody using it, you probably can use it. And that's another bathroom over there. So let's see how this looks in the inside. Yeah. Let's see how it looks in the inside. This just might be a bathroom, not a shower. So this is just a bathroom, I think. Clean, clean, clean. Just a bathroom, not a shower. And the men's over there. I'm sure it's pretty much the same. Might have the shower over there because that one is bigger. And more people camping over here, you guys. When I spent the night at the other place, it only cost me $14 overnight. At uh, Lake Livingston, it was only $14.
so we just gonna walk in here very nice facility y'all i'm actually impressed if you're in this area wolf creek park no pets allowed um uh, they have trails this place looks bigger than the other place i had went to uh tim big b i think wow look at how big it is bathroom stalls handicap big handicap bathroom big handicap shower and we have three a seat here which is nice and a shower here i like the separate seating area and a shower so i'm about to take me a shower y'all it's a little chilly but you could take your shower and have your stuff separate i want to see how hot they don't have wow i have a feeling this water not gonna get that hot because they don't have a nozzle to turn the water and make it hot mm, i don't know if i'm gonna like that I don't think I'm gonna like that. So, so far, and see the water is not staying on that long. I don't know if you have to stand in front of it. Okay, it's getting a little warmer, but it don't have a thing to adjust the temperature, which is weird. Okay, it is getting warmer, but it's no adjusting of the temperature, which is weird. Okay, so I'm gonna continue my tour and I'm gonna come back and do a shower after I do my tour. Let me just drive around and see what's what. Let's go over here to the water. Just the water is directly in front of us. I have some people camping over here and they can camp actually right on the water. How neat. They can camp right on the water. I hope where I'm going, they have campgrounds like this with day passes uh, because there's a better store in the area so you can sit and eat and chill but in this area they don't have that many stores y'all and there goes a plug for your camper or whatever and water fire pit water no diving or swimming from this area just the swimming is over there and you can swim I mean you can uh, fish and cook your fish no dogs allowed beyond this point hello how are y'all doing hi Y'all catching anything? You caught fish? She said, yeah, they don't. Look, y'all, as far as you can see, you really don't see anything. And I guess over 
there's people. You don't see anything. I don't know if they caught anything. And there is the camper. Their camp. Some people's campers. Uh, they're Chinese, y'all. Uh, they appear to be Chinese to me. Okay, y'all so i just got through coming out of the shower and walking to the water from over here so we just gonna drive through this little cul-de-sac where people are camping at and just show y'all the options of camping on the water. There's an empty space right there. If anybody want to camp there. I'm not sure if there are different levels of camping. Or if it's just all the same. If it's all just $20 across the board. And they have their boat. trash right there. Somebody need to pick up that trash. And they got a little picnic table right there. Would y'all ever consider RV, you know, the, what do they call that? Look how they're on the water, y'all. Ooh, I bet that, that's so I bet that's so relaxing at night. That kind of makes me want to get a spot to just sleep on the water tonight. Close to the water. It kind of makes me want to go and get a spot to just sleep on the water tonight. Thank you. 
electricity. And here's another space right there to park on the water. are not that far from the water is still the water is still in walking distance which makes it good so let's see what else we can see okay so now I'm back to the front so this is just a little short and sweet camping ground so what I'm gonna do is there was a little store you guys when I first came in. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go to the little store and we're gonna do a little tour of the store and see what we could find in the store to perhaps eat, maybe. Space in front of the store. 
so we're gonna go in the store and see what they have so i'm gonna park over here so we can walk in the store no glass containers This is a nice little property. Can you imagine living on the property? Because it looks like they live on the property as well. Can you imagine living here and having a business at the same time? Buy your own little island and turn it into something like this. I think I would love to do that one day. Yeah, I was surprised they didn't take cash. These are a MasterCard only. So for you people out there who only have cash you might want to get you a prepaid debit card or something if you don't have one because this place only takes cash i didn't drive into that one right there but this is the little rv park that's close to the front so it looks like that's where they live at This is the store. Okay, they playing music. They got ice. Hello. Hey there. How are you? They got fishing poles. Tackle. Yes, ma'am. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. <laughs> yes, ma'am. What all y'all have to eat? I am starving. Oh, my goodness. Pizza sounds good. I'm hungry, y'all. So we're probably gonna have some bacon. Tortilla shells. Mm. Y'all know I'm not eating any uh, processed foods, but this looks so good. <laughs> and tempting chips. Oh, chips look tempting. I'll just set that here for a minute. Chips looks tempting. Cotton candy. They have tortilla shells. Everything is nice, neat, and cleaned. I think I would like to open up one of these kind of places one day, y'all. Buy some land on a water on water somewhere and turn it into a campground. That would be you could live your life. Look at the little RV. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. That's a 19 piece bath set. Oh, look at the little RV. That is so cute. They don't have a van. I 
think I want a little snack, y'all. Something, some processed foods. They had deodorant, uh, slippers. Oh, they even have ice cream. Oh, I'm not supposed to be eating non-processed foods. Oh my goodness. Tempting, tempting, tempting. Potatoes, items in this freezer are not for individual sale. I think I want some chips, y'all, even though it is off of my diet. Should I get the chili cheese or the Doritos? Let me know in the comments what you get or what you get the crunchy. Oh, I'm not supposed to be eating this. But you only live once. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> I'm on a diet. I'm not supposed to be eating processed foods, but you okay. only live once. Yes, so, you do. You know, only once. I left out of there. They were nice. Firewood. How much is the firewood? Let's see. Firewood, $20 per barrel. Or a dollar per piece. Twenty per barrel is twenty dollars for that whole barrel, y'all. That's good. That's good. So I got some bacon and eggs and some chips. Just wanted to patronize the business, and I am going to go take me a bath before I fix me something to eat. I'm probably gonna sit over here and cook by the water. Put my signs on so as I drive around, maybe when I'm somewhere, I know I'm not gonna be staying or I'm driving through towns. So I go ahead and put my signs on my van. And once I get ready to go where I'm going or stay in town, I take the sign off. I don't know if I'm gonna end up spending a night here or not, y'all. Let me know if y'all think I should spend the night. I mean, I'm so hungry. I didn't have anything to eat today. So, I'm going to open up the Doritos right quick. Three through thirty-one. I don't know what that means. Mm. When they take credit card, they get your name. If they take cash, they don't know who's on the property. So that's a good idea. They get your name. Without asking for it. Oh, by the way, you guys. The day passes are $5 per person. Not per car. It's per person. So, I actually like this little place 
but I'll be glad when I get my solar working. So I could have my food. I want to turn y'all around. Yeah, I'll be glad when I get my solar working. So I can have my food. with me so I won't have an extra added expense so this is not a big big huge place but it's big enough in Texas or if you are a Texas RVer or van lifer and there's places in Texas where you would like for me to go and visit Texas campgrounds and parks and stuff like that. Let me know. I didn't get anything to drink. So the name of this place is Wolf Creek Park. They are open March through November. Fun field day, fishing, boating, skiing, swimming, and hiking. They do have a hike trail. Um, a fisherman's delight. Lake Livingston offers 83,000 surface acres of water surrounded by acres of outdoor fun. So we are on Lake Livingston pretty much. For all ages. Create lasting memories. Y'all, I don't think I've ever had marshmallows roasted over a fire. I can't recall. So, this is a map of the park. And we are on Lake, Lake Livingston. Trinity River Authority of Texas. Something for everyone. It's nice, y'all. I like it. Uh, camping rules. Camping is permitted only in designated areas. Camping permits issued 
to individuals 18 and older maintain absolute quiet after 10 p.m this applies to generators and power plants mm. so after 10 p.m no generators Campers may dispose of water and waste in designated disposable sites only. Disorderly conduct will not be uh, permitted in the disorderly conduct will not be tolerated in the park. Littering is permitted, including disposal of oil, gas, water, and batteries. Please help us keep the bathrooms neat and clean and orderly. No display of public consumption of alcohol beverages is allowed. Speed limit is 20 miles per hour. All motor vehicles obey the speed limit and warnings. Use of skateboards, roller skates, and other roller blades is prohibited. Use of all terrain, vehicles, dirt bikes, golf carts is prohibited. No street legal street legal vehicles are allowed on pavement roads. Pets must be kept on a leash and under the control of the owner at all times. Visitors with pets that present present a threat or disturb other visitors will be asked to remove their pets from the park. Pets are not allowed in the swimming, picnic, and playground area. No firearms or fireworks of any kind are permitted in the park. Mm. No glass containers are allowed in the swimming area or playground. No unnecessary uses of water including washing vehicles boats or rvs <laughs> no defacing of trinity river authority or the facility anyone in violation of these rules may be required to leave the park without refund and may be prosecuted simple rules y'all so, that's it for this van life vlog. Thank you for watching Vanessa's van life vlog, Vanessa's van life journey. I hope you enjoyed this drive through of Wolf Creek Park. If there are any other parks in any areas, let me know. Let me know. Peace out. <laughs>